Good morning world, it is 3 o'clock in the morning, I'll make a quick 30 minute video. I just finished watching 3 episodes of Obi-Wan. The Obi-Wan Kenobi show, it's a good show. But even though it's a good show, I like, I like, I personally like Mandalorian better than Obi-Wan. Uh, I just finished watching 3 of the episodes of Obi-Wan, I'll finish the season tomorrow. The remaining 3 episodes tomorrow will be Obi-Wan. The show's good, it's better than Boba Fett. But I, I like um, I like Mandalorian better than Obi Wan, to be honest. Uh, the show has some inconsistencies, some stuff with uh, with canon, noms and all that stuff. See what I'm saying? I, I I watched Star Wars Theory, and he he talked about, he talks about the inconsistencies in the show and all that stuff, like Order sixty six. You know what I'm saying? Order sixty six, yeah. What happened with Reva? You know what I'm saying? Reva survives Order 66 when Anakin slaughtered all the all the younglings. You know what I'm saying? There's a little bit of inconsistencies in the in, 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 in the show, obviously. But it's a good show. I enjoyed the show. I was very, very entertained. But I like Mandalorian better than Obi-Wan, to be honest. Um, but Obi-Wan, you can argue, is better than Boba Fett. Boba Fett was okay of a show. Uh, but I can't, you, uh, you can argue Obi-Wan's better than Boba Fett, but you can also argue Boba Fett's better than Obi-Wan, but I like Obi-Wan better than Boba Fett, but Mandalorian, in my opinion, is the best of the three shows so far. The three live-action shows, Mandalorian is the best. I'm excited for season three of Mandalorian. That's coming out, I believe, the end of this year. Mandalorian's a sick show, man. Whereas Obi-Wan is, is a mini is a, is a miniseries. It's a limited series. It's only like six episodes. They, they they might not even make a season two of what we want. So I'm saying it's just it's just a limited series. Whereas Mandalorian's an actual show. Like it's on season three now. You see what I'm saying? I watched the show. It's a good show. And I have three three more episodes left. I'll watch the remaining three episodes tomorrow. And after I watch Obi Wan, I'll watch the Batman. I never I never saw the Bat. The Batman came out like what four months ago now? March, April, May, June, July. Yeah, four months ago the Batman came out. Yeah, four months ago the Batman came out. I'll watch that. I heard it's a really good show. And then multi multi multiverse of madness. I'll watch that. Thor: Love and Thunder and like No Way Home and like Far From Home. I didn't see those movies yet. I'm gonna watch all those movies this year. I like watching movies because it builds excitement. Every time I watch shows and movies. It builds excitement for my Skystress company because my company will blow Hollywood out of the water. Uh, me and VJ are going to be movie stars. You see Ian McGregor, he's a, he's, a, he's a star. He's a television star for Obi-Wan. You see Pedro Pascal, a star for Mandalorian. You're like, holy shit. I can't wait to start Skystress. I'm going to own a company even bigger than Disney. Better quality, better quality than even Obi-Wan and Mandalorian. Mandalorian is top quality. $100 million they put towards that show. And I'm putting nine eighty million dollars towards fucking Zayna. So listen, so it looks something like amazing. It's my movie. Look at something amazing, man. I also want to see Uncharted. Uncharted came out back in February. I want to see that movie with Tom Holland. And Mark I want to see that too. I heard it. I heard it was okay. I heard the movie had mixed reviews, but I also want to see that movie too. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, Ivan, what do you watch on YouTube? I watch movie stuff. That's all I watch. I watch movie stuff and games. I watch Rob Brad's games on his channel, and I watch all of the movie channels. Like Midnight Edge, Overload DVD, Rob Mayer Burnett, John Campia, Star Wars Theory. I watch all those guys. Overload DVD. I recommend you guys check out all those channels, man. It's Check out Star Wars Theory, Older DVD, Midnight Edge, John Campia, Rob Mayer Burnett. You know what I'm saying? Midnight Edge. Obviously, the Rad Brad. Check out all the... Those are all the channels that I watch pretty much. Yellow Flash, too. There's a channel called Yellow Flash. The guy talks about movies, too. I check out Yellow Flash, too. Yellow Flash is there, too. Yeah. Check out all those guys. Good channels. Yeah, man, every time when I watch Obi-Wan today, I'm like, holy shit, 
I can't wait to be a fucking movie star. It's so cool being a fucking movie star and being being being, being acting when they when the lights are on. You have those professional cameras filming you. It's a good feeling being a, being a movie star or a television star is an amazing feeling. Because you're you're a fucking star. You're a movie star, especially for a movie like Zanus, man. You got something top notch. Look at something top notch for Zanus, man. You're looking at something top notch for Zanus. You see what I'm saying here? You're looking at something top notch. For Zanus, man. I'm gonna I'm putting nine eighty million dollars towards Zanus, guys. Obi Wan was probably made for I don't know, 80, 80 million for the six episodes. Sixty million for the six episodes. Mandalorian, you can tell you can tell Mandalorian they put my money towards that show compared to Obi Wan. Mandalorian looks look looks more top notch than Obi Wan. They put one hundred million dollars towards Mandalorian. Man. You got an amazing show like that. Well, imagine me putting nine eighty million dollars towards Zanus, man. For the world building of the north and the south, all the lands. Think about that for a second. Something better than Avatar, except the world looks more natural. You know what I'm saying? It's unheard of action sequences. If you think Mandalorian action sequences are nice, Lord of the Rings action sequences were nice. If you thought that Helm's Deep battle was nice, think something better than that for Zanus. I'm putting nine eighty million towards the movie. Four hundred plus million towards special effects, guys. It's unheard of, yeah. And you're looking at unheard of horror. Air attack number all devils. They're walking devils on the screen. Aerotat is a king. I can easily make Aerotat PG your team. If you do that, the movie won't be as good. And I can't see it topping the uh, Lord of the Rings if it's PG thirteen. I can make saying it's PG thirteen if I want to, but if you, it won't have as much buzz because because it, 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 why is Tachy's agony Tachy's an agony for a PG thirteen wolf? It, 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 it won't do the story justice. You need to have Aerotat and be devils. You need to have Zane's be radar too. But even though it's radar, I'm not gonna have full on sex. I'm gonna have uh, uh, partial nudes sex so you see the woman's butt or breasts and that a little bit of her breasts and that's it partial nudes so but i'm not gonna have full nudes that's too much but the action scenes and everything is violent it's all violent stuff it's radar zanus that's why we're looking at an amazing movie you yeah, man you're looking at an amazing movie for what for, for zanus man that's why i'm excited when i watch shows like obi-wan mandalorian Movies like the Batman. I'm gonna watch the Batman this weekend. I might see it with my younger step brother. I might watch the Batman with my younger step brother on my TV. I might watch that. I heard the Batman was a good movie. Yeah. Multiverse of Madness. I heard it had mixed reviews, but I heard Batman was really good. I heard Uncharted was okay, and I heard uh, Thor: Love and Thunder was okay. It was pretty good. I'm gonna watch all those movies. And it builds buzz for my Zanus, my Zanus movie, which is which is only in a couple years now, guys. I don't know, 2026, I'll be hard at work in the office for the last of Zanus. With Peter Jackson or Mel Gibson. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to be hard at work in the office with Peter Jackson or Mel Gibson. Yeah, man. Hard at work in the concert room. Discussing the movie, the lands, the characters. What? Okay. What? What? What's the best design? What's the What's the best console art design for for Zanus, for Rax, Cyrus, Saphius, the Blood Valley, the Force of Galathia, the Valley of the Dark, the the the, the, the cursed Western Gilead Mountains, the, the Northern Western Gilead Mountains, the City's Edge, the Castle of Zanus, the Wall of Zanus, Zanus, the Courtyard, the Gardens. You see what I'm saying? The customs of the Northerns and Southerns. What do the Zanes wear? What do the so Syrians and Safians wear? What do the wolves, wolves wear? What does the Feces wear? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What do Eratat, Morali, Feces, and all of them look like? I already have an idea of what I want What I want the wolves and bats. I want the wolves to look something like that devil being in Annabelle. And a hybrid of the Boss Orc and Lord of the Rings. Tell them that with an okay. I want, I want the wolves to be like a hybrid of the, the Boss Orc and Lord of the Rings and that devil being in Annabelle. For the bats. Sorry, for the bats. And the wolves, I want them looking like Pennywise the Clown. Except they're three times scarier, obviously. And they have to, they, they're wolves, but they have like human features like the orcs. You know how the orcs and other rings have human features? 
They're, they're wolves, but they have human features, and they, I don't want a wolf on four legs, no, otherwise the movie will flop. And I don't want a wolf look like a werewolf, no. Have them look like the like um like Pennywise the clown. Except Eric Tad is an animal. He's an animal, but he has human features like the orcs in Lord of the Rings. That way you get a better movie, you see what I'm saying? And Eric Tad is three times scarier than Pennywise the clown. Tell John Howe and all of them that 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 way they know, that way they create devils. Okay, I have new sure. We are going to tell them, I have new sure that's too scary, man. Like kids won't be able to watch this. I'm like, I know kids won't be able to watch this. I want it both to be that scary the way you dress for the story. Just like Passion and Christ is not meant for kids either. But yet, because it was rated R, you got a more powerful story. I know what I'm doing. The, if the kids, the, the, the most, the kids can watch it when they're older. When they turn like 13, 14, they can watch it. See what I'm saying? Whereas the kids who are 14, 15, 16 can watch it with their parents. Their parents were like, hey, you can watch the movie with, with, with me, but you have, to, you have to sit next to me, sit beside me. The parents, okay, just sit next to me, you know what I'm saying? The scary creatures, but just sit next to me. Just sit next to me, you know what I'm saying? You'll be fine, you know what I'm saying? And the 15, 16 year old kids watch it. You know what I'm saying? Because Raid R is 18, 18 plus. So for 18 plus, you're good to watch the movie. If you're under 18, you can't watch it. But I, I told you, all the teens who are 14, 15, 16, 17 are going to want to watch the movie. Their parents will just cuddle with them. Okay, cuddle, cuddle around me. We'll watch it. I'll wa watch it with me. Just sit next to me. Just sit, just sit right beside me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because Eric has to delve himself. Yeah, man. You're looking at demons and devils, man. Looking at demons and devils on the screen. And after Obi Wan, you have Ahsoka coming out, I believe, next year. You have Andor, and you have Mandalorian season three, which I'm excited. Which I'm excited for the most. After Obi Wan, I'm excited for Man Mandalorian season three the most. Andor, I'm a little bit. I'm not that excited for that show. Uh, so I'm excited for the Ahsoka show. That's, that's going to be an amazing show. The Ahsoka show. That's going to be an amazing show. The Ahsoka show. Yeah. Whereas Obi Wan, I was excited for the show, but like it's a limited series. They might not even be a season two of Obi Wan. I'm saying they might have make a season two. Limited series means it's not it's not long. It's not a long series. It's, it's, it will go on for maybe one, two, three seasons, and that's it. Obi Wan might have a season two, but I, I maybe not. And I'm saying it just depends. We'll see what happens when they make announcements in a couple months to a year, a year from now. You see what I'm saying? Here? And 2026, guys, should be the year I start Sky Stories, guys, man. And you're taking for granted, I don't know, three and a half years from now, I'll be as hard at work in the office for Sky Source. For the last four things we've probably Three and a half years is not long for now, guys. I remember 2019, like, yes, you guys all remember 2019? When I pumped up, when I started my listening series? Well, it's been like three, it's pretty much three years. Yeah, well, well in a good 2026 should be when I start Sky Source with VJ. And I'll be hard at work in the office with Peter Jackson and McGibson for the last four things movie project. So I'm going to end the video here in like 17 minutes. I thought it'd be cool to make a quick 30 minute video. And I'll upload it. They took away the internet cord, so I'll upload it around, I don't know, 8, 9. 8, 9 o'clock, I'll upload the video. Eight o'clock, not today. I upload the video around like eight. Yesterday, I upload the video around eight. So today, I'll upload the video around eight o'clock, nine o'clock in the morning. You guys can watch it, and I'll watch the video. I might watch the video after this video, or I might wait till like uh, wait until watch it with you guys. I might just watch. I might just watch this video afterwards. Yeah, man, yeah, those actors and are going to sign their massive contracts for my, for my movie. And what? They're going to they're gonna be, they're going to be, they're going to be my co-stars of the movie. They're going to be my famous co-stars of the movie. Famous movie stars. They're going to be. Famous movie stars, they're all going to be guys like John Boyega, Avon Joje, Dijon Mohan Su, Idris Alba, Don Cheeto, Ariana Grande, Danielle Manette. You know what I'm saying? All those actors are going to be my stars in my movie. They're going to be famous movie stars. They're going to be world famous after Zanus. And you got, you actors don't want to talk to me. You see, if you're obviously if you're driving, yeah, you know how, how, what. The kind of buzz you're going to experience for saying this, man. It looks a bit crazy. You know the kind of buzz you're going to, um, you're going to experience for saying it. Something worldwide, man. 
That's why I guarantee I'm going to go on that world tour for Xanus. I'm going to go touring across Canada, the States, and like Europe. Japan, China, India, New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, something crazy. Korea, yeah, something crazy, man. I'll charge the venues for speaking. That way, me and my wife and the actors can make some good money. The actors can make a nice, like, 150, 60, 70, 80, 200 grand off, uh, off touring, obviously. The only way I won't charge the venues is if they don't charge. Okay, if you don't charge the fans, I won't charge you. If you charge the fans, like, 10 bucks to come to come see me speak, I'm going to I'm gonna charge you a fee. For, for, I'm going to charge you a speaking fee. It's fair. You're benefiting off my success. The only reason why all the fans are, are at that event is because of me and VJ and the actors. We deserve a piece of the pie. You see what I'm saying? Huh? If there's 20,000 people, I'll charge like 60, 65K. It's, it's a good deal. If there's 30,000 people, I'll charge like 80,000. 70, 75, 80, 85 grand. And 40,000 people plus, I will charge 100,000 plus. It's fair. You charge them 10 bucks, you're going to make your 400K. I want a nice 100K of that. And you keep 300K because I'm generous. So even though I'm greedy, I'm generous. I'm, I'm willing to give the, let, let the venues keep most of the pie, but I want a nice piece of that pie. You see what I'm saying? That way, me and my wife and the actors and directors and my three guys can make some, make some, can make some good money off speaking fees. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That way, me and Vijay can make some good money off speaking fees. I'm going to keep saying that. That way, me and Vijay can make some good money off speaking fees. Yeah. You're looking at a masterpiece, guys, for Zanus Mandela. I wrote an amazing book, man. You're looking at something better than even Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings. It'll be close. Lord of the Rings and, and Zanus will be close, man. As Lord, the Lord of the Rings is a masterpiece. But Zanus will beat out Lord of the Rings because I'm acting in the fucking movie. Ivan O'Meara is acting in the movie, and Zanus is a better story than Lord of the Rings. But Lord of the Rings has the richer dialogue, the richer speech, the richer world building. So the world building in Lord of the Rings will stand out more than Zanus, obviously, but the story of Zanus stands out more than Lord of the Rings. It's a better story, you see what I'm saying, huh? Trust me, if you read my book, you see what I mean. I finished Lord of the Rings. I finished all three books. I made I made that announcement a couple of videos ago. I officially finished reading all three books. All I have left to read is the appendices of Return of the King. But the, the story of Lord of the Rings, I finished. I finished the whole thing. Finished all three books. I read all three books. Now, compared to Zayn's, my God, Zayn's is better than Lord of the Rings. It's more, it's more interesting than Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Yeah, man. Look, it's been crazy for the fame of Zanus, man. I'm going to experience crazy worldwide fame for my last one for Zanus movie project. Whereas you guys are all left behind. You're left out of my glory. The step families are all are left out of my glory. And you will be left out of my glory, too. You're going to be left behind. You're going to be abandoned by God. You're not going to be saved. Like I'm saying that. You're going to be left behind and abandoned by God. You see what I'm saying? Huh? You're gonna be left behind and abandoned by God. I'm gonna keep saying that. End this video here in 11 minutes, here, guys. I thought it'd be cool to make a quick 30 minute video. I'm, I'm tired. After this video, I'm gonna go to bed. Or I might watch my video on my phone. I don't know. I might watch it on my phone, or I might watch it with you guys when I wake up. But I prefer to watch it now. That way, when I wake up, I can just make my video right away. I don't have, I, I don't delay time. I don't, I don't kill time. I don't take up time. The chances are I'm gonna wake up around two, three o'clock again today. So if I make a video, yeah, if I watch three minute video, it will take up time. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so John Boyega, I'm willing to pay him a rich $8.9 million for the role. I can even pay him 
Pay him an extra fifty grand to keep him happy if you want. You can pay him eight eight point nine zero five if you want. Eight point nine uh eight point nine zero five, eight point eight point nine zero 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 what zero nine or something like that if you want. Pay him eight point nine million dollars, ninety thousand dollars if you want. Eight point nine is good enough for him. Pay him eight point nine. Uh, John Cheadle, I'll pay him a ten mil salary. That's for the role of Mayor Missy Archer. Uh, I just I'll pay him twelve point five million for the role. Uh, Ariana Grande, I'll pay her five million. Digi um, Digimon Sue, I'll pay him ten point nine for the role. Avon Joji, I'll pay him four million for the role of Papyri. Andy Circus, I'll pay him like seven point eight million dollars. That's a good paycheck for him. Seven point eight, seven point nine. Seven point eight is good for him. Seven point eight zero five million you can pay Andy Circus. That's a good paycheck for the role of Job. I'm not going to hire him. If he wants more, I'm like, I'm like Andy Circus. Job is, is pretty major. He's not as major. He's a major character, but he's not as major as guys like Tassatonius and Cassius. Because he's an AS actor, he's pretty big. I'll pay him a rich like seven point eight million dollars. Pay a bit less because he's pretty major, but pay him, still pay him a rich salary if, if, if he's if he's a, because he's a small ace actor. Whereas Don Cheadle's big, he's worth like forty million bucks. That's why for him I'm paying him a nice like ten million for the role. That's good enough for him. I'm not going to hire that for Don Cheadle. If he wants more money, I'm like Don. This is good enough. If you don't like it, go back to working hard making three point five million dollars for your sh for your movie. You see what I'm saying? Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna get a drink of water. Sorry guys, I have, to, I have to get a drink of water. I'm thirsty. Yeah. Danielle Manette, I'm willing to pay her three million. And the actor for Sirius, Cornelius, and Ela, I'll pay those guys three million bucks. I'll just hire Pete's actors for those guys who are cheaper. Pay them all a nice three million bucks for the role. That's good. You gotta watch for your budget. Pay them three million bucks. It's a good paycheck for them. For all those guys. I mean, how much is these actors are costing me like 80 million bucks, man? Around there in salaries. It's cost me a lot of money. The actors for Zanus. By the time I paid all the actors and I pay all the crewmen, I'll have like maybe twelve, thirteen million dollars that's over in the salary budget around there. Once because I'm also paying the cinematographers like two the main ones, like the main like three, four people. I'm paying all those guys two million bucks. That's six million on your budget. Yeah, and you also have the spread the main like two the main like three special effects people, I'm paying like two million bucks. You see what I'm saying? That's like sixty million dollars on your budget. Adds up, yeah. And then all the special effects people, I'm playing. I'm paying one seventy million dollars. One seventy thousand dollars. Sorry, one seventy thousand dollars. Not one seventy. No, one seventy thousand dollars. It adds up. See, but the crewmen don't affect your budget like the actors. Because I'm only paying... They're, they're making way, way, way less than the actors. Because I'm paying the 150K, it adds up. Like, six people is already like a million bucks on your budget, man. Six, seven... Six, seven uh, crewmen is like a million bucks on your budget. And that's why you got to... You have a big salary budget. That way you have room to pay all, all of them their nice, rich salary. The supervisors, you pay them their two hundred, two fifty, two seventy thousand dollars $270,000. By the time I pay everyone, I'll have like maybe fifteen, twelve million dollars over in the budget. I have to pay Peter Jackson's eight mil bonus. I have to pay my my what? The assistant director and all members of my seventeen their their bonus. So they're one fifty and two fifty thousand dollar bonus. It adds up. Yeah, by the time I pay everyone, I'll have like like a million, two million left over in the salary budget. And there's the remaining the remaining money I just put towards special effects. If I have some money left over, I put the rest towards special effects. That way you don't waste money, obviously. Seems there. The actor for Queen Sarah, I don't know her name. I'm gonna have to research and find out find out what her name is. I'll pay her eight point five million for the role of Queen Sarah. That's good for her. 
Because Queen Sarah is a pretty major character. She's major, but she's not as major as guys like Cassitonius and Cassius. And for her, pay her 8.5 million for the role. It's a good paycheck for the actor for Queen Sarah. As for Black Panther, she probably made like, I don't know, 800 grand, a million bucks for the role. I'm paying her a nice rich 8.5 million. It's a good paycheck for the actor for Queen Sarah, obviously. Not so much I want to pay all the major characters. The actor for Arrowhead, I'll pay like six. I'll pay like four to six million bucks. Two to six million bucks around there. It just depends who the actor is. If the actor is the biggest actor, I'll pay him like two million. The role of Arrowhead. If it's a if it's a if it's an A-less actor, pay him pay him four plus million dollars. Four or five, six million bucks for the actor for Arrowhead. Depends who the actor is. If it's an A-less actor, you can pay him like six million bucks. I'm, th I'm thinking William Defoe and, and what? William Defoe or Benjamin Kamajak are good for Aerotat. William Defoe is, has a good voice for Aerotat as well as uh, Benjamin Kamajak. He's good for Aerotat too. He voiced Smog in The Hobbit. Before he was in Marvel, he was in The Hobbit. He voiced Smog. You can pay him a nice six million bucks. Benjamin Kamajak. William Defoe, pay him six million. They're both AS hackers. They're both small AS hackers. Pay those guys six million bucks. A good paycheck for them. I'm not going to be hard enough for them. I'm like, you, well, you're paying Tessa Tony's more than me. Yeah, because you're paying the actor for Cass Tessa Tony's more than me. Yeah, because you're a voice actor. If you're a voice actor, you're not worth as much. The people do not see your face. Hence why I pay, I'll pay you millions because you're a smallest actor, but I'm not going to pay you like 10 million bucks. No, I'll pay you like 6 million bucks for the role, which is good enough. As in Hollywood, you probably make what you're on average 3 million for fucking for, 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 for your movie, man. I'm paying you 6 million bucks for the role of Eric. That's a good paycheck. He was selling live into the deal. You're paying a lot of money. Yeah, I'm paying a lot of money. Six million bucks is a lot of money. William the four Benjamin contract will accept that deal. Yeah, I mean six million bucks is a lot of money. Yes. You're walking away with, I don't know, two point like six million, five million in your bank, two point six, seven million in your bank, whatever it is, after taxes. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot of money, man. You're walking away with a rich fucking paycheck. I'm giving you a good deal. If you don't like it, you're more than welcome to go back to Holland and be in Thursday with all my offer. Who's are saying that, man? The actor for Fool, I'll pay like a million, a million five max. Because for Fool is not as major as Eric. That pay the actor a million. We got to balance your budget. Pay the actor for Fool a nice like a million five for the role. The actor for Morale, pay him like six eighty thousand dollars. Good paycheck. The actor for Mass and Bash, you pay those guys like three hundred thousand, two fifty, three fifty thousand dollars for three fifty k. You can pay them. The actor for Ephesus, I'll pay like four fifty grand. For the role, because Ephesus is not as major as Eretz. He's a minor character. He's only in a couple scenes. I don't know. He's a good. He's in a good like I don't know seven scenes, eight scenes in the movie, ten scenes, twelve scenes, fifteen scenes in the movie, twenty scenes in the movie. You see what I'm saying? He's not in that much scenes. Hence why he's minor. But but if you want to get an honored acting performance from that uh, actor, because Ephesus is a key to plot, pay him a rich like four fifty grand, which is a nice paycheck for a minor role to, to, for the role of Ephesus. You see what I'm saying? The actor for Ephesus, I'm most likely, I'm most likely have that actor be a, a be this actor. Pay the actor a nice four fifty k for the role, which is nice. And the actors for the actors for the Eagles and Crows, pay those guys like one fifty, one seventy thousand dollars for the role. They're minor characters, very minor characters. The Eagles and the Crows. You see what I'm saying? The actors for the Eagles and the Crows, pay those guys like one seventy thousand dollars. Nice paycheck for a, for a very very minor role, because the Eagles and Crows are very minor characters. They're only in a few scenes in the, in the movie. That's that's my salary. That's that's my salary structure for the last of us Ains movie project. That's my salary structure for the last of us Ains movie project. That's how much I want to pay all the actors. And it's good enough. If they don't like my offer, I'm like, guys, if you don't like my offer, you're more than welcome to work in Hollywood. And I will cast someone else. But I can't picture anyone else per for the role than the actors I chose. I can't picture anyone else to play the role of Tastonius than, 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 than John Boyega. He's perfect for the role. I can't picture anyone to play the role of uh, Papyri. Avon Jose is perfect for the role of Papyri. I can't picture anyone play the role of Mary, except Danielle Manette's perfect for Mary. And I can't picture anyone playing the role of Belle. Belle's perfect for Mary. For, 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 for Ariana Grande is perf perfect for what? For Belle. I'm playing the role of Tactius. I'm perfect for the role of Tactius. If he's just playing the role of Lithia, Don Cheadle's perfect for the role of Marimus. And and I use Alba, my God, he's perfect for 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 for, for Takis for us. I can't picture anyone. He, out of all the actors chosen, I use Alba as the most perfect for the role because he looks he looks like me a lot. He, he, you picture him as my father easily with the beard and all stuff. Yeah, he's perfect. That's why I'm paying him the most money. 
because he's the most perfect for the role. He starts the story off with the movie with a good like fifteen minutes of the movie is about the life of Takis the first. When Takis is born, that his son Takis second is born. As well, he's also key to the whole plot. That's why if you want to get Arnold Ackerman, pay him a lot of money, pay him the most money. There's exceptions where some people who have more, less scenes can make more money. It just depends on how much they contribute to the role. I just Alba will contribute a lot to the role. Attack is the first starts off the whole story, and he's key to the whole plot. When you read my book, you will see what I mean. He is, Attack is the first is key to the whole plot. Looking at a masterpiece. And you guys already know how the movie will look like. You can see the feature after keys. Looking at an amazing story. You see what I'm saying? You are looking at an amazing story. I could babble on for another 10 minutes. Um, I feel like I have more to say. I could babble on for another like 10 minutes after this. I'll show my camera for a sec.